Hello and thank you for watching my web series on PHP development. I am really excited about doing this because uh, we're going to make a really really killer website and you're going to see everything step by step. Uh, this is kind of new for me. I've made a lot of YouTube videos and tutorials but I've never actually taken anyone from the very beginning to the very end of making a website that does a lot functionality wise. But before we can do that, we need to get uh, a few programs out of the way and installed and done with. So the first thing I'm going to deal with today on what I'm going to deal with in this video is uh, unzipping zip files. Now, a lot of programs that you're going to get off the web uh, come to you in zip format. And you may already have something that can unzip these, but what I recommend is a program called 7-Zip. It's free, which uh, pretty much everything I'm going to show you about programming is free, except for the server. You do have to pay for a server unless you're uh, on a static IP and you have that ability through your ISP, which uh, is kind of beyond the scope of this. But anyway, uh, you're probably going to download a bunch of software and all of that software will probably be zipped or at least a good portion of it will so you're gonna search 7-zip in your favorite search engine and when you do you'll come to 7-zip.org or you can just navigate directly to 7-zip.org and when you do you will find these files now uh, I've mentioned this in other videos and I really can't stress it enough be very careful when you're uh, downloading software because you can go down further down on the list and you can find uh, like for example the 7 zip zip uh, dot soft 32 and if you go there you see this download now uh, this is actually an ad and uh, if it's not an ad it will add a toolbar or something to your uh, to your program so always be sure that you're getting the program from the actual developers website and in this case that's going to be 7zip.org so we're going to go here and depending on whether you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit system that's going to depend on your download if you don't know which system you have you can just simply click down here and click computer uh, not computer click down here and right click computer and click properties and it will tell you uh, system type and in my case I have 64-bit operating system so that tells me that I need the 64-bit if you're really not sure and can't figure it out you can do the 32-bit it's gonna work in either case but I'm gonna go ahead and download this and it'll take you to SourceForge and it waits for your download to start so you can sit there and click their ads. Now I uh, just want to point out there's also a download for uh, 7-Zip right here and this is an advertisement and if you download this I'm pretty sure you're going to go ahead and get their toolbar. But anyway I've clicked on the 7-Zip homepage and it's taken me to a file that I'm going to go ahead and save and uh, I'm going to save that in a folder I've got called downloads and I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this even though I have already so we're going to run and it's going to say welcome to this blah 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 and you know a lot of stuff modify repair or remove installation now you're you're not going to have this because I have uh, already installed it I'm gonna go ahead and remove the old installation I'm gonna allow it to do whatever I'm gonna finish alright now I'm gonna go ahead and click it again and this should give you what you see as a new user alright you have copyright information and you have to accept the license agreement which you probably will uh, custom setup the way you want features install icons features to be installed uh, yeah C programs 7-zip that's all pretty standard we'll go ahead and cut through it get to this and uh, 
now we're going to see a status and the status doesn't seem to be moving so ah here we go now it's asking me if I want user account control uh, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer uh, provided you got this from the right website you're going to want to say yes and it will go ahead and do all of that now here's how we can figure out that we have this installed uh, you can go into all programs and you can scroll around and you can see 7-zip here you can open 7-zip and it's got 7-zip file manager I don't actually use any of this so what I'm gonna show you next is how I would go ahead and uh, let's see Zencart I'm gonna show you the easiest way to utilize this right here uh, instead of dipping around Go to a download Zen cart. Considering Zen cart, uh, download Zen cart. Okay, here we go. We got Zen cart, and I know this site, so I'm going to go ahead and hit download now. And the latest release is going to be uh, download the latest release. I hate the way SourceForge makes you wait five seconds in the event that you're going to go ahead and get something else. So we're going to hit. Uh, yes, it exists. We're going to replace that. Uh, this may not be the very best uh, way to show you, but it's good. So I'm going to right click on this and it's going to say open containing folder. I'm going to open the containing folder and right here I'm going to right click again. Now you'll notice in your menu it's got a 7-zip in your menu now so if you click extract here it's going to extract that under the same file name as a file folder uh, it's going to tell me it exists so yes I'm going to say yes to all in this case and then it will extract your zip file into a folder of usable files that are not zipped up now the reason a lot of a lot of places, uh, companies, whatever, zip these files is because let's see, let me find this here, Zencart version 5.0, populate full release 96 8:51 p.m. Yep, that's as you'll see 8:51:96. So that's it. So now I can click into that folder and all of these files are extracted. Now the reason a lot of companies will uh, or, or organizations will zip their files is because it saves them bandwidth on their server and whereas instead of sending you something that's a hundred megabytes they can send you something that's a lot smaller I'm not sure the exact ratios and it kinda depends on what types of files they are but these is this is the most effective way of unzipping files and once again I'm gonna show you we've downloaded a zip file you just right click that click open container uh, containing folder or whatever and you should have it highlighted where that folder is and then you right click that and then you'll find the 7 zip up here in your menu and then you just click extract here and it will extract it to a folder named exactly what your zip file is and then after it's done you just simply move move around until you find that folder and there's that folder dated the same time I unzipped it so I hope that has been helpful for you and I really can't wait to get started on this series I think we've covered all of the software by now and uh, this video uh, I made it after the other one so you might be doing a couple more software videos and then we're gonna get into the exciting exciting super uh, fun coding process. So if this has helped you, please comment, like, and subscribe. I uh, really do appreciate a thumbs up, and we will see you in the next video.